friends welcome to the gate again today we are going to solve the iso series question this is the question number of 38 from the 2018 paper in this question we have given the two current source uh, first is the ac current source and this is the dc current source the three henry capa uh, inductor is given 30 ohm and 1 by 27 fa farad capacitor is connected like this in this question we have given that the steady state is achieved in this network so what uh, the steady state you achieve means the initial conditions initial conditions of this network is zero okay uh, now what will i will do i will use this superposition theorem to find the vc in this question we have to find the vc max okay so i will use the first the supervision theorem so i will consider this is dc this dc current source so i will redraw the circuit this current source is open now for the dc current source the inductor will short circuit okay so this is the short circuit this 30 ohm and the capacitor will open circuit so my circuit will look like this okay now i will consider the vc one over here this is the 30 ohm so what will be my vc1 my vc1 is uh, sorry, 30 ohm into sorry this is the 5 ampere so 5 that is my 150 volt this is my vc1 now i will consider this ac current source so i will redraw the uh, this circuit like this this is the AC so all the like this and this current source will open circuit okay now what I will do I will use the Laplace, Laplace transform over here so my 4 U of T will be e 4 by S this entry is 3s 30 ohm and this is the capacitor so my capacitor will be like 27 by s and we have to find vc2 now what what will be vc2 let me consider the current over i so my vc2 is i into 1 by sc that is 27 by s this will become my sc now i have to find the current i so what will be my i I will consider over uh, current divider circuit okay so uh, current divider we will use so 4 by s into 3s divided by 3s plus 30 plus 27 by s okay now further I will reduce it so this end will cancel 12 divided by 3s square plus 30s plus 27 this s will go up okay now i can remove 3 ohm here 3 from here so my our total current i will be s square plus uh, 10s plus 9 this will become my i i will uh, use i over here so my vc2 will be 4s divided by s square plus 10s plus 9 into 27 by s this n and this s will cancel and uh, further i can reduce uh, this equation here like 27 into 4 and s plus 9 into s plus 1 okay this is become my vc2 so and from here I can make VC2 at 27 by 2 1 upon S plus 1 minus 1 upon S plus 9 here I am not doing any calculation because you know how to reduce from here to here so I will directly put the answer from this equation to this equation okay so if you find this you will get like this only so VC2 T become 27 by 2 
a to the power minus 1 minus, minus t sorry a to the minus 90 okay this become my vc2 and what is my final answer final vct will be vc1 plus vc2 so what is my vc1 vc1 is 150 plus my vc2 is 27 by 2 e to the power minus t minus e to the power minus 90 this is become my vc t okay now what we have to find we have to find the maximum vc so for maximum vc i have to differentiate this dvc by t dt equate to 0 so further i will reduce from here equate to 0 i will get i will consider over here is 0 minus this become minus 27 by 2 e to the power minus t and this will become 27 by 2 into 9 e to the power minus 90 is equal to 0 okay this equation i will get from here so now let me write over here is uh, this this will go up to here so my final answer will be like this e to the power minus t is equal to 9 e to the power minus 90 okay this will become my answer now i will use natural log over both side so my final answer will be minus t is equal to ln 9 minus 90 okay so 8t is equal to ln 9 so my t will be 1 by 8 ln 9 or i can write as as the question here given 0 0.125 this will become my answer thank you